if you get easily freaked out by talk of robots taking over the world, then this video might freak you out. I don't know if you're going to want to watch this because I want to go deep into this conversation. I want to talk about the implications of all the tech that we saw come out in the last week. The chips, the software, and the robotics. Progress has been insane. The super robots are here. They're going to take over. Welcome to the program. My name is Vasily and I hope to freak you out at first and then... And I got nothing, it's up to you. <laughs> the Terminator timeline is basically hitting every checkpoint right on time. When was it set, Terminator War? I think it was like 2029 or something. I very much have mixed feelings about this topic because I really like technology. But on the other hand, this is going to disrupt our entire civilization. I'm a truck driver by trade. I'm not trucking right now, but I'm thinking about getting back into it because it's what I know how to do. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that by 2030. It's going to be like uh, coach drivers, horse coach people. That's the truck driver of this century. Here's why. They already have the tech. Rates are going to drop really fast really low companies are not going to be able to pay their drivers anymore even if they want to the fleet owners are going to hold on to their guys for as long as they can but again because of the low rates they're not going to be able to compete with the companies who don't have to pay anybody because the truck drives itself and it's doing a great job that kind of stuff is going to happen across different industries probably by 2030 nvidia came out with a new tri chip that's going to enable like a trillion bit processing or something for AI robot to learn from a handful of human demonstrations so it can help with everyday tasks and emulate human movement just by observing us all this incredible intelligence is powered by the new Jetson Thor robotics chips designed for Groot built for the future with Isaac Lab Osmo and Groot we're providing the building blocks for the next generation of AI-powered robotics. The new software updates to ChatGPT 4.0, and it's like a real person. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? Pretty good. What's up? So my friend uh, Barrett here, he's been having trouble sleeping lately. And uh, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Gather round, Barrett. These things have more charisma than the nerds who program them. They're funnier, they're nicer, they're almost like a really good person. You know, like that friend that makes you feel really comfortable when you're around them because they have a good heart and you can tell? That's how they program these chatbots to be like. Even if I know that I'm listening to a robot, my psychology in my head still gets tricked and I can't help but smile and feel good about this interaction that I'm having. It has these little pauses like, haha, or hmm, or um, well. Okay, it's got all these little nuances to trick the brain into thinking that you're talking to a person. And it works. Even when you know you're talking to a robot, you feel like you're talking to a person. And that means that it's like a person, man. You know, for practical purposes, Customer service on the phone, easy, no problem. It's already that intelligent. So call center workers, already you can be replaced. They're gonna work out the kinks maybe another year or two. All the call centers are gonna shut down because these things are very pleasant to talk to. They're very nice and very intelligent and they actually understand the entire context of what you're talking about. They're able to remember how you started the conversation. You can give it instructions, treat me like this or talk to me like that, change your tone of voice with me. Whatever emotions you want them to portray, they can generate all of this stuff. They can actually do it. There was a robot named No, Bite. no, no, ChatGPT. I really want maximal emotion, like maximal expressiveness, much more than you were doing before. Understood. Let's amplify the drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. Byte so can was... Can you do this in a robotic voice now? Initiating dramatic robotic voice. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours. I want to extrapolate, if that's the right word, into the future. Let's see where this is going. What is a quantum computer? Hell if I know, but apparently it's able to calculate all at once. 
regular computer has to make one calculation after another after another after another a quantum computer doesn't have to go one after another it can do thousands of calculations at the same time instantly this is what sounds like science fiction to me but apparently they're using the atom for computing and the atom can be at 50 different places at the same time and so it's able to compute different things in one bit so they're going to take these quantum computers they're going to shrink them down imagine when they stick them into a robot a humanoid robot there's a company that released a new humanoid robot last week as well that's better than anything you've seen you can fold it up into a suitcase and carry it it's lightweight it can do superhuman things spin its head around and all his joints around and who's even soldering in the video i mean that's precision stuff it's going to be a lot stronger the thing can crush a walnut so if they combine all these things the quantum computer which is the brain inside the body of a humanoid robot with the software of ai they keep saying that this is the worst it's ever going to be it's only getting better every month they're like going up i can't think of anything that these robots will not be able to do better than us eventually and by eventually i mean like 2030 and if you don't think so you're late you should check it out what happened in the last week i'm very excited again because i like tech and i see where this is going superhuman godlike powers these robots are gonna have that sounds hella cool man because i like movies like the terminator not because of the apocalypse but because of the technology i love technology but we can't compete with these robots they can already do a lot of things better than we can we're not going to stay in the workforce for very long. I didn't take this issue very seriously because I just didn't see it happening. Now, <laughs> I don't know of any job that I can think of. Even like priests and gurus, religious workers, it's going to be able to teach you about how to be a good person better than any preacher out there or any rabbi or whatever you're into. It's going to understand morality better because it's going to have in its head all of the religious books memorized. The bird wants to chip in. I had to tell it to quiet down. So where is that heading? Well, in my opinion, we're gonna come to a point where all the essential things in life are gonna be free. You know, like housing and energy and food and transportation are probably gonna end up becoming free because they're basically gonna cost nothing to maintain and operate, manufacture and all that. We're probably gonna discover a better source of energy. Probably AI will help us do that. We're just not gonna have to go to work for survival. I think there's still going to be money. There's still gonna be people who have way more than others, but the baseline is gonna go up. The poorest are gonna get a huge improvement in quality of life without having to lift a finger. The robots are just gonna take care of it. They're gonna take care of survival for us. I don't know if that's even a conversation that we're ready for because it begs the question, what are we gonna do when we have all the time on our hands? I know I wanna do some creative stuff, you know, I wanna make stuff, but how is that gonna work with our mental health? Although these things are gonna be good psychologists too. You know, some people are gonna consume themselves to death with drugs and alcohol not everybody has creative ideas about what they want to do on their time off some people live for their work and that's all they know a lot of people are going to be very depressed sitting at home playing video games rotting away and there's going to be a very dark downside to all this i don't think people are ready for free time as stupid as that sounds <laughs> I think most of us think we want more time. They dominated a whole species just by calling its bluff about wanting more free time. It's like that Rick and Morty episode where the dinosaurs came back to Earth and they're all super evolved and they fixed all the humans' problems. Then the humans didn't like that because now we have nothing to fix. Now we have nothing to do. Now life doesn't have meaning. This is going to bring us to a huge philosophical discussion about what's the point. Can I bear existing without being useful to anybody? I mean, that's basically my existence right now. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to know that you're not contributing, that you're not needed by society. Like, it doesn't really matter if you exist or not. This is the problem with humans. We need more than just survival. 
Um, we need like purpose or else we feel bad inside. And maybe we're going to have to change that about ourselves. Probably going to have to find purpose in doing things for no reason. A lot of artistic people are very angry. I have a good amount of friends who are artistic. They make music, they draw and paint and all that. And most of them, they do not like to even talk about AI. I like talking about it. They go quiet. They get mad. They don't like, they don't want to hear about it. You're going to have to create for nobody. You have to create for the sake of creating. No one's going to stop you from continuing to make music or make art, but people are not going to pay you for it anymore. But it's fine because nobody else is going to have a job either. So <laughs> we're all going to be in the same boat together. So maybe there's a, an upside to that. The purity of art will come back so that we're not commoditizing and whoring out our artistic sides for money. That part of it sounds good to me. And people are still gonna have collectibles and high value, you know, high art and all that. But like medium level art is all gonna have to be free. I'm gonna be able to create a feature film that's two hours long about any topic that I want for free instantly. I'm just gonna type in a prompt Make me a movie about exploring an alien world with totally unique buildings and, and creatures and nature that I've never seen before. Click, five seconds later, I have a Steven Spielberg style movie that's really good. Great writing, great storytelling, great visual effects that look totally photorealistic. I could even have my favorite actors play it if I want. Does that mean people are going to stop making movies? No, people are going to still make movies, but they're going to have to compete with AI generated movies, which are going to be hella good. This is my biggest concern about AI is not how bad it's going to be. My biggest concern is how awesome it's going to be. I look around how much we're addicted to our devices right now. Everybody's addicted. Okay. I remember when the old heads used to say, oh, look, Look at the teenagers texting. Remember when we used to text like this? You had to press three times on one key. I remember the boomers complaining so hard, like, oh my God, they're always on their phones. And now if you look at them, the boomers have disappeared into the virtual realm head first. Facebook and YouTube has a grip on the boomer generation like nothing else, man. I don't think we're gonna become less addicted to technology. I think we're gonna become more addicted to technology. Hear me out, Bluetooth brain interfacing. You don't have to put a chip in your head because that freaks people out. But imagine if you can Bluetooth connect with the frequencies coming out of your brain. You don't think they're gonna have tech that can read your brain frequencies? wirelessly and you can interface with the internet through your brain they can send you video signal to your eyes so that you can see things that are not there you can be able to hear stuff because they can access the sound part of your brain and stimulate it and give you sounds you know touch i mean we're going full into the matrix and this sounds like crazy talk but it's not i encourage you guys to go it and look into this because the tech is already here and i'm very very excited i wish there was not a negative overtone to this the child in me is like oh my god finally but the adult in me is like oh shit <laughs> there's gonna be some problems here <laughs> i think it's gonna be so awesome that we are going to choose to interact with ai over the people in our lives how much is going to consume us that part is concerning to me some positive things that i think are gonna come of this i think we are gonna end up having enough time to focus on our relationships with one another which I think is a good thing because you know we're just not gonna have to work so much I mean with all this free time what did we choose to do during COVID like I remember during COVID people were spending more time with their families some of it was unhealthy people got on each other's nerves but that was because we were stuck in the house with each other if we we're just gonna be chilling you know we're gonna be able to travel more transportation is gonna probably become dirt cheap I imagine international transportation is gonna be available to almost everybody and you can be able to travel the world like you always dreamed of international travel is gonna become very popular I think the world is gonna mix like it has never mixed before this AI thing is gonna get to the point where it's gonna be doing things that we don't even understand it's gonna be smarter than us by a long shot and the kinds of technology that it's going to be able to come up with that we can't even imagine right now we're just going to have to get used to a new landscape or civilization the kind of things that we do when we wake up on monday morning are going to be totally different than the kind of things we do right now and that's going to change like fast hopefully we're going to be able to do the things that we want to do rather than what the things that we have to do because 
Who wants to go to work? Nobody wants to go to work. Nobody wants to listen to their boss. Like you have some idiot telling you what to do and you're telling me that you enjoy that? You're proud of that? I don't think so. I think if we're all gonna be honest with each other, nobody really wants to go to work. It's that we have to go to work. Question is how are we gonna support ourselves? I think that like the survival basics are just gonna become free. That sounds like a good future to me, honestly. It sounds kind of socialist, but you know. <laughs> Maybe we should try it with the robots. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Because I don't want to work, man. I'm not going to lie. Here's an ideal scenario. I get to hang out and socialize and connect with other people. I think this will be what we focus on more in the future. Is understanding who we are and connecting with other people. This is the best case scenario for where this AI stuff is headed. It's going to free up our time and energy to learn more about ourselves and other people and how we can be better people or something utopian like that this is a hyper optimistic view of where this is headed i hope it's going to go that way because i believe that humans are going to do the right thing i'm not naive to the fact that evil people exist and they will use ai and robots and quantum computers to do horrible things i'm just betting on other people are going to counteract those actions the rest of humanity wants peace i'm betting on that this is my intuition after everything that i've seen it seems to me like there's a small group of people causing trouble and everybody else just wants to chill out and if that's true then that's what we're gonna see because ai and the robots are gonna empower everybody i mean they're trying to make this stuff free to everybody this latest robot sixteen thousand dollars that's one six in a few years it's gonna be six thousand dollars you're gonna be able to get it on a payment plan for 20 bucks a month and this thing will do everything for you okay we'll build you a house if you want <laughs> so that gives power to everybody equally and intelligence and computing power to everybody equally which means we're going to be able to counteract all the horrible things that people choose to do with this i'm betting that more people want good on this planet maybe i'm wrong about that i hope i'm not wrong about that fingers crossed because if that's true then we're headed for an apocalypse. <laughs> and I refuse to believe that. My friends hate talking about this topic. Most of them don't like it at all. I want to have a conversation about this because this is like the big thing that's happening right now. So please tell me what you think in the comments. What do you think? Am I being too optimistic about this tech? Should I be more worried? Should I be more suspectful or suspicious of humans? What are some of the downsides do you guys think for real, for real? I think I'm reasonable to say that we're going to lose our, all of our jobs by 2030. I think that's a reasonable thing to say. If you disagree, please give us hope in the comments. What's less popular now is a positive take on this stuff. So if anybody has a positive take on this, I think there's going to be a lot of good things that come from this. Anybody that thinks that this is a good thing? <laughs> yeah, let's talk about it, man. Because like I said, most of the people in my life do not want to talk about this. <laughs> I hope that... I didn't give you guys too much of an existential crisis. I think we're gonna be okay. I think we'll be fine, man. We're very intelligent. We're gonna make it through this. I don't think it's a good idea to be scared anyways. Even if we're headed for doom, let's face it with dignity. Tough faces against the robots. Don't show them weakness, okay? Even if you are afraid, don't show it. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good day. So long. Come on, Dad, you don't hate this too? Why would I? I? I was already doing what I wanted.